It's quarter past eight in the evening on Monday the 22nd of July and it's time for today in my bujo. So how are you? Are you alright? It's a bit dark behind me because I haven't actually put the room light on, just my desk light. Had a busy, busy day. Well, I haven't, haven't. It's been a bit weird. I've had um, my bathroom done today. So the photo on the left is what my bathroom looked before I had the new floor down. And the photo on the right is um, what it looks like now. Let's just put it into focus. There you go. Look at the difference. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I've basically lived with my bathroom like this for about three years now and I hated it. It's really doing my head to I had the flooring, I've had the flooring up in the loft, I've just had nobody who knew how to fit it. And my mum finally said that we would get the work, the guy, that our handyman, to come up and do it. And we bought these absolutely fantastic, gorgeous Art Deco tiles. They look really sort of like Roman villa type tiles. And the hole that is there at the head of the bath now has this little shelf of gorgeous Deco tiles. And um, he's put this white flooring down and carried it on up the bath. So absolutely brilliant, doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? I am so, so chuffed. So that is going in my journal today. And do you want to know what else I did? I have to show you because I'm so excited. Do you remember back in April when I made a three signature? Hang on, I'm gonna go get it. I made this, it's the first, I, you know, I decided that I was gonna start going monthly because I was using that weird binder set up and I didn't really like it. And I made this book and I and I really liked it, except for the fact that um, where my signatures met, there was this massive gap. And I was really disheartened and I couldn't find anybody online that was doing a soft cover book with multiple signatures in it seemed to be one signature was it and then um i was sat yesterday and i was watching robin over at art journal girl and i, I find her quite inspiring she's a lot she, she her methods are a lot like ali ali brown um but i don't know art journal girl just i just like hers a lot better i don't know why and she does this mega insert for exactly she, she makes her own inserts um and she like me she uses tomo river paper which is fantastic and um yeah she didn't make she said she got a bit fed up with making them each month now while i like the whole having it on a monthly setup i kind of got to agree with her you know so i watched her make this mega insert and then she did basically the same method i did but instead of doing the kettle stitch where you have your three signatures together you sew your first one and then you sort of sew your second one down into the, the first one with this weird stick you know with the spines facing up to you so you have it sort of like this and uh, yeah no she didn't do it that way and um i stuck this on afterwards it worked reasonably well except for this massive gap and i was so pissed off so today da da la, da 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 uh, I think it was Gemma sent me a paper pack with a card and I was like ooh and it was just big enough and folded in half to wrap around an A5 booklet. Now what you can't see because I've rounded the corners there are three signatures in here. There is enough here to do two months okay so when July finishes we will do August and September and here then I will make a three month one to do October, November, December. Um, Amber's already told me off because I didn't film this but basically I was experimenting and I wanted to know if I could do it I will film the next one okay that is not the paper is supposed to look like that before anybody sort of you know what the fuck happened but um this is this is my new book that is the middle of signature one and that is the gap in between now okay it's still not brilliant and you can still see a little bit but that is a millimeter if that 
The other one was five bloody millimetres. You have to excuse my printer. It had a shit fit today and basically piddled all over. This is the middle of my book. Okay. And then that is my second um, gap. Again, that's li I can live with that. Do you know what I mean? I could quite happily live with that and the major spooge on the printer. That is the middle of my third signature. And that is the back. And it's sewn through the cover. And then what I did was I literally just put invisible tape on it just to help hold it. But what I did was I did my three signature. I did three signatures of 10 sheets each. Remember, this is Tomway River paper. This is not regular grade paper okay so it's very fine paper anyway so yeah 10 sheets three signatures 30 sheets in total i sewed the first one into the book then i sewed either side of that so i got my second signature and i put it on top here and then as I sewed in, I made sure I went in and out of the same holes as I'd done with the first one. Now, this did weaken the holes quite a bit and I had to pull it quite tight to get it so that there wasn't this humongous gap in between my two signatures. But, I mean, God, you've only got to look at the difference. Um, yeah, I mean, look look at this look i mean i can get my fingernail in there i mean no word of a lie that gap is one two three it's nearly four millimeters wide at the bottom it fucked up putting the tape down i had to split the tape you know i mean if you stretch it it's four nearly five mil wide okay so i was annoyed about that this one it's not even a mil. It's about half a mil wide. So I am chuffed to fuck with this. Really, really pleased. And so I also, although I really like this cover, and I do, I've pulled out some ephemera because people have sent this stuff to me and I'm like, well, mm, I need to use it. So I'm thinking when maybe when my live comes on Wednesday, you could you know i've got these and i've got these and i've got the i definitely want her on there because she's so freaking cute and then i've got this flamingo and then i've got a succulent and a frame which you know could hold house her or i thought it, you know we could do something arty like put it around the cacti or the succulent but not actually cut the succulent down i don't know what do you think now I'm not sure because people send these to me whether these are stickers or not. And I can't see any way to peel it, so I'm going to assume this is a die cut. I've also got some butterflies, and then I've got a whole shitload that somebody sent me. I think it might have been Michelle Uglybugs who made my Poppins cover. But I've got a little panda. I've got a little kerb cake. See these? I think. I uh, see. I don't know if they're stickers or not, and if I bullet them, I'm going to ruin them. But I've got a whole load of little pandas. I've got some little burnies. Some more cupcakes. Look at all these little bunnies. Look at all the cupcakes. Oh, me yum. And then this cute little cat clip thing. And a couple of penguins. I might save those ones for winter. So I thought I could also have a go at sort of decoupaging the, the cover a little bit. Or would that, you know... I don't know, what do you think? Would it would it ruin it if I or should I just leave it like this? Um because I'm gonna put um I'm I was gonna use these stencils. Or I could use the littler ones. To put like the months on there. Or something i'd like to get an actual letter stencil but that's something else i've got coming <laughs> i've been so naughty i bought an uh, a mini alphabet punch board so um, i might actually just put letters on the front of this i really don't know i'm going to decorate the back couldn't we 
um so yeah i might just i because i'm not sure how big the letters are i think they're only about an inch and i might just put um august dash september and then at the bottom i could put well maybe not that because they are quite big those ones aren't they i love them i love them i love them you know i do but they are big where is my my little stencil is bopping around here somewhere i had it earlier well you know the one that i use in my in my on my pages now to do do the front you know where is that oh there it is I was getting all ready to cry and then um i need to cut this bloody thing down because it's, it's so big it's got like the spare bit at the bottom and the loopy bit at the top and i can't get a hold of the damn thing and then i could just do you know 2019 across the bottom or up the side or so you know i don't know but i've got the punch board letter is coming should come tomorrow um along with a tab one because i really really liked the way that she journals and she chucks tabs down here to um reference like important pages so like i could put one in here for um for the funeral you know the, fun the funerals on the ninth um the day daryl left school stuff like that that i might want to get to a bit quicker or you know i'll, I'll discuss this in a minute um Uh, that's a little candy, that's a bit. Um, yeah, like this was Daryl's last day. Um, I need to put a photo in there of him, don't I? And, you know, I could, I could put something there so that when I'm wanting, you know, if I said to them, oh yeah, no, that it happened around about Daryl's last day at school. I can come and look for it and, and, and find it. Kerry received her socks today and she sent me a thank you text. Just thought I'd throw that in there. So, you know, I do want to get a little bit more into the art journaling side of things. I don't know whether I'm the kind of person that would background paint a page. I'd like to have a go at it. I really, really would. You know, like these art journalists, art journalists, is it journalists or journalers? I would say journalers. So, you know, I, it's maybe something I would like to do, but where I doodle on my pages, it's, I don't know. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Give me some ideas. What would you, what do you want to see? What would you like me to have a go at? Because I would like to have a go at more arty type journaling. So, yeah, but I am so pleased with this. I am, I'm majorly in love with it. I love how it's come out and the fact that it will get chunky when when used as well is great and the next one i make will be thicker than this because it will be to hold three months so yeah really really excited and i've rounded my spines all ready to go in my book but let's you know are we going to decorate it let me know what you want to do we can deck we can start decorating it on wednesday on the live because i've got all this ephemera stuff <laughs> sat over there and i've got um Another idea that I've stolen off of um, off of Robin is I've got some packing tape coming so that once I've stuck all this crap down, I can just seal it with this packing tape and it will help protect it and it'll make it a little bit stronger as well. So I don't know. I mean, I may go back to carrying just this notebook around for a while. You know, I may, may put the A6 away for a bit and just carry this. You know, I'd, I mean, I'd like to carry the whole bloody lot, but it's... But I suppose if I only carried what I needed in it, I mean, I wouldn't need the last couple of months, would I? And these are heavy because they've got cards and stuff in them. Um, you know, I could take these out and then I would only have my 2020. Yeah, I mean, if I took these, these are heavy. If I took these out, I could just have this. But then I would need my big bag with me. But then, I mean, I could also carry art supplies and stuff. See, these are the quandaries I am in it's dreadful and i've rambled at you for 15 minutes and have not filled any of this in and you're probably sitting there thinking for fuck's sake woman shut up with your rambling again i've lost my pen 
I'm not having a very good day, am I? <laughs> I keep losing shit. Oh my god. Where's my pen? <laughs> so yes, tomorrow I have got... What have I got coming? I have got a tab punch board, which makes little sticky out tabs, coming. I have also got a... Um, alphabet board. I've lost my freaking pen. I had it just now. It was a blue one. It's under my book. <laughs> and the packing tape. I think that was everything that I ordered. Is that everything that I ordered? so so naughty I really am and the only reason I ordered it before anybody goes oh I thought you said you had no money I don't have any money the only reason oh and I ordered a toothless plush toy for Daryl the only reason I ordered all of that was simply because um it was saved up on my gift card you know if you guys don't know about this no I did not wear makeup um yes I did the challenges you can set up your Amazon account to automatically credit your virtual gift card as often as you like. I set mine to do £10 every two weeks. And um, it soon adds up. I had 40 something pound on there, so I was like, ooh, and I went shopping. That's the only problem. It's that I don't wait and I spend it all. Um, uh, yeah, I I know that I said I wasn't going to, but I did have booze, fizzy, and caffeine yesterday. What did we have for dinner? We had a takeaway. Did I craft? Yes. And then I did not water the garden again because it's still so damp out there because the weather can't seem to make up its mind what it wants to do. It actually did a little bit of sort of spit today it's a bit, it's a bit, you know it's very lightweight you're standing there out in the garden going is it raining but that all cleared up and um we ended up eating dinner out there because it was so nice so uh yeah weird huh uh yesterday yesterday what did i actually do uh oh yeah we had to go shopping and I was tired. Um, we made plans about the garden. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh... Hey, you guys, did you know New York State looks like an old man? I actually thought that while I was drawing it. But then the UK looks like a witch sitting over a cauldron. Have you ever noticed that? It does. You look at it. Scotland's the hat. And then it comes down... Near Ireland is the cauldron. And then you've got the little nose of the witch. And it's just, yeah, she's sitting there over a little cauldron. <laughs> Okay, mood yesterday. I think my mood yesterday was probably, do you know what? Are we up to an eight, do we think? Maybe not yesterday, but I would say today. So let's put yesterday at a seven. Oh, thank you so much to everybody for the feedback on the sound. Um, you know, you should have told me that I was too quiet and I would have turned the gain up. I hope you're hearing me all right again today. Uh, right, so I said seven and eight, which is that one, yeah. Because like I said, I'm so paranoid that I am loud because Stuart was always saying to me, God, you shout. Because um, I am just naturally loud, always have been. And uh, you know, when you've got four children running about, it's just something that you do as a matter of course. So I was always a little bit paranoid about that. And you guys should have said to me, you know, speak up. <laughs> so yesterday I'm going to put it was about a three because I didn't feel too bad yesterday. I went shopping and everything as well. So I coped quite well with it. Oops. Today I'm a little bit more achy, but that's simply because I've just spent an hour cleaning my bathroom. So, I'm going to put that at a five. Yeah, the reason I want to sort of carry my journal about with me a little bit more is because I want to use it for notes and, you know, stuff like that. And 
maybe even art journal in it while, when we're out and about because Callie and I have been talking about that now I've lost my black pen do you know what I shouldn't be allowed out um yeah and it's something we sort of discussed and I just think well I'd like it all in one book really you know uh, right and my ruler did great when I did the whole cutting of the pages and all of that lot so yesterday was 5,742 that wasn't very good was it I've done better today <laughs> I was determined to have a lazy day, which is bad, but you do you just get to that point where you're like, I don't give a shit. Have you all had a good weekend? What did you do? Was it interesting? Tell me. Okay, week 29 was done and we're now on week 30. We coloured in that. So we need to change the pen. <laughs> I wasn't sure which way I was working through the pack then. Funny that. Now I did screenshot the weather earlier on. Look, I didn't put the temperature in on that day either. I just noticed all the sunrise or sunset. Wow. That was the day of the funeral. That's why. Fair enough. It was warm. I know that. Warm and miserable. I think because I didn't look at my journal until the next day. So, yeah. Right, I screenshotted the weather. And we had a little bit of cloud in the morning. So I just had a news flash come up on my phone. Apparently Ronaldo is not going to face rape charges. Isn't it funny what money can buy? I've just dropped my freaking stencil. Oh, come here, is that it? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> right now let's see it was 23 wow over 15 oh, 5 17 and 4 minutes past 9 at sunset excuse me a minute hello hello how was it yeah not too bad good it took me an hour to clean the bathroom Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, he's just got in for wrestling training and he always likes to talk about it when he gets in. So, right. Day face cream. So, there we go. I did not wear makeup. Challenges are sketched and ready to go. And if it comes out as well as I've sketched it, I will be a happy bunny. Um, I have not had any booze and I don't intend to. I have had fizzy and caffeine. No chips. I didn't craft, but I did make a book, so you, does, does that count, do you think? Let me know if you think making my little book counts. I won't colour it in unless I go off and do some knitting in a minute, which I might do. Um, I didn't do the word, did I? So I need to do today's word, today's and yesterday's word. Because I didn't do yesterday's. I don't know what I could do with my word for yesterday. Hmm, shopping, plans, because Alex and I discussed what we would like to do for the garden yesterday. <clears throat> it was really good because we just sort of did loads of discussion and said, you know, we want to do this and we want to do that and, you know, all that kind of thing. So, right, there's obviously not going to be a car because it's a bit late. We've done that. Okay, right. Hmm. That's a notification. Yay! Amazon order will be delivered tomorrow. 
<laughs> oh dear. I might actually unbox them both on camera and tell you what I think. No, I do not want to shop in the sale. So, I had a, I, I had a bad night last night. I didn't go to sleep until about half past two. I'm at eight, but I was awake for a good hour in the night. So I am just waiting for him to go and take his bath. And then I'm gonna go and have a bath in my nice clean bathroom. I did think about going up there and just like, I'm gonna have a bath first, especially as I fucking cleaned it. But um, I wanted to get in here and see if I could do today's challenge. And um, yeah, because I'm quite happy with how it's come out. So I will show you in a momento. Uh, yesterday, five, seven, four, two, two point four one. Today, today, <laughs> right? It's Monday. I have cleaned the loo. I have done the laundry. Plug's gone. Oh? Plug's gone. Oh. I don't know where the plug is. Crap. Put it into the bath. <sighs> I'll be right back. Uh, do you know what I never even thought about that when I was tied up? I haven't seen it. It appears that my soap dish, which housed my plug for my bath, has vanished. And the only thing I can think of is that it got knocked off of the bath while he was fixed it and he didn't notice. So my soap dish, my purple soap dish, and my plug are underneath the bath. Because I've cleaned that bathroom from top to bottom and it wasn't until Alex said that I thought, oh, hang on a minute. So yeah, oh well. So I did the loo and the laundry. I also washed the bath mats. Because, you know, got to have a nice clean bath mats to go in my nice clean bathroom. Okay. I also vacuumed upstairs from yesterday. And I cleaned the bathroom. I did actually say yesterday, didn't I, that I wasn't going to clean it until today. Yeah. Oh, I've got to sweep and mop the buddy kitchen floor yet I want bath myself um, so my do I put bathroom or do I put new book <laughs> I'm gonna put bathroom so I need to know what sort of things I can do in an art journal that you guys would want to see so Ian came today I don't know whether all that look like, I know my iTunes went out because I had an email about it I need to check the electric and the gas. Oh, I was going to tell you about this. Um, I said in my video yesterday that I needed to know, uh, you know, things for sticking in my journal. And I also said about how I wanted to cut down on crappy food and portion control is my one of, one of our problems is that we eat far too much. So I made this little pocket from a uh, a packet that these pies come in there I showed you the packaging and all that so I made a pocket out of this one and then I made a tag out of the chicken on croup one and then I had a play I've got um an intricate die that I bought and I cut on blue cardstock and I wish I'd actually done it over the top but I didn't realize how little space that was going to take up and then I just cut another tag out of a, with a smaller die um, and um, I wrote, we really need to cut down on all the deliciously unhealthy foods we've been eating. It's making us both fat and my skin is dreadful. Healthier, smaller portions ahead. So yeah, I made this little tag, <laughs> which I thought was a bit of a giggle. So, yes, that's my, leaf. that's my receipt. Let's see what else have I got stuck in here. Some things, obviously, I'm, I haven't told you what they are because, it's quite frankly, they're private. Um, oh, that was a, a, a thing I started. I can't remember if I told you about this. Is 
there's Daryl racing the dog home. We took her out for a walk on, on Saturday. And I've just put that he said race you home. And she's just put, I'm old. <laughs> and then there was, that was yesterday. So let's now get on because I've waffled at you for, I know it's not been an hour. It says I've been here an hour, but I know some of that was me talking to Alex and then going to find a plug. Luckily, I actually have a travel plug and I bought it years ago when I was pregnant. Um, I went to Turkey and um, I was so hacked off because every, the hotel that we stayed at for the week we were there and then we went to another hotel on a overnight excursion. Neither of them, they both had showers. Thank Christ it's the 22nd today because I didn't even think about that. I just set it down and started going. Um, neither of them had plugs in the bath. So I couldn't have a bath. I'd have a shower. And, you know, I was 18 weeks pregnant and I was uncomfortable. So I had to make do. So I said to um, the people that I'd gone on holiday with, I'm going to buy a fucking plug so that I've always got one with me for whenever I go on holiday. And I found one. I can't even remember where we got it. But I found this bloody plug and it's hysterical. It's a black plug with a black chain and it's got a spider on the other end of it. And as you fill the bath up, the spider floats. Of course, I chucked it in the bath and Alex nearly had a fit. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. Oh, dear me. My Amazon parcel will be delivered the 23rd. Yes, by DPD. Fantastic, that means I can track it then. Now, tomorrow I've got a nail appointment. So I'm not going to be about in the evening, which means I've either got to get this done in the morning or I skip tomorrow's plan with me. And I'm going to do a live on Wednesday. I'm not quite sure whether there will be a plan with me tomorrow, but I would definitely unbox my goodies. It depends. I mean, the challenges for tomorrow are, I'm getting buzzed. Um, the challenges for tomorrow are, um, a ginger cat and 20, uh, three days of peace and music, whatever that is. I have no idea. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to find out. I also haven't done the lettering, I've just realised. Boating. Right, let's get on. I'm going to, actually, I'm not going to use pencil. I'm going to go full on. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my God. That's not too bad, considering I just plucked it out of the air. Right, um, the prompts today are LSD, boating, and a house elf. Now, I really worried about this because I don't do people. So I've had a go. I really hope it comes out all right. The sketch looks great and I really don't want to colour over it. So I may not colour him in. I might just sketch him, pen him in and just leave it at that. I, I, I don't know. I'm a bit scared to colour him in case I ruin it. So, yeah. So I'll be back in a wee while. You get to listen to my music because it's fab. I am really pleased with how my dobby came out and I don't want to colour him because I'm really frightened that I will fuck it up. So I'm not going to colour him in. Okay, and you can moan at me as much as you like. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. So that's my little LSD tablet. I don't know if that's, that's what I got when I looked for it. I've never seen LSD so I wouldn't know. 
Um, that's what came up. It just looks like a postage stamp with an acid face on it. Is that what it is? Does anybody know? I don't. Um, yeah, so there we are. Oh, I've got to put my little foodies in. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna split them in half. I'm much more accurate with a pair of scissors than I am with a paper trimmer. If I get a paper trimmer out, I've got like four and I've got a rotary one, which is okay. That's probably the one that I'm the best with. And then I've got loads of these little ones with, with the wire, like this one. This was the first one I, and I bought this myself. The wire moves, you know, you, you, you put it down and you hold your thing and you go like that and the wire seems to move and I can't stop it from doing that and it's so frustrating. And also this flaps. There seems to be no way to actually lock this bit down, you know. And then uh, Margaret Ann gave me one, but again, it's a wire one. And I bought one from Audi, and again, that is a wire one. So I've got three that I don't freaking use. So, and it's it just seems a lot of hassle to get the 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 big one out. So. that one there and that one there and then I shall journal around it yes let's do that is there a hint for these on how to get the fucking backing off of photo paper I end up having to get a pokey tool to do it because I can never do it with my fingernails there we go. Oh, and yes, I did use uh, Crayola Super Tip to um, colour that in. It seemed a bit daft to get my paints out for that little thing. So there you go. Right, this video is now an hour and 15 minutes long, and I know that I've got a lot to cut out because, you know, there was a lot of chatting and shit going on, but there you go. So, yes. Going out for a walk tomorrow in the sun because I want to. So, <laughs> right, um, yeah, anything you want to know, just leave it all down below. Any questions, any comments, answers to my questions. Um, God, this is getting hairy. Chunky it is. I love last month because it's got like loads of stuff in it. Well, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up i'd really really appreciate it and if you've got any comments or questions or suggestions or answers to the questions that i've posed today leave them down below yeah i'd really really appreciate it um what else well what else yeah this is when i need daryl see because my mind just goes click the book you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell and youtube's in a good mood you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today and uh I'm hoping I can get one out tomorrow. Uh, if not, I will see you on Wednesday for the live. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow, Tuesday's edition of Today in Mabujo. Take it easy, guys.